desire can be triggered. Yo, check it, check it, family. There are some people that walk like they're gods, but they actually walk with the devil. Then there's some people that they move like devils, yet daily, 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 they wake up, go to sleep, and everywhere they go, they walk with the Most High God. You hear what I'm saying? In Dominican Republic, we have a saying, when you're speaking of somebody and they appear, they say, speaking of the devil, he ain't going to die today. So, hey, however you move, just make sure that wherever you go, you have the most high and majestic, good, grace, graciousness, faith, and love in your heart, in your body, and in your spirit. So that everywhere you go, you only project, reflect, and disseminate nothing but goodness, grace, hope, and faith, love into all the hearts and minds that you end up touching. All right. In short, Jesus you know, was one of those people that he walked with God. He moved with grace like God and he became God-like. You get what I'm saying? He achieved that state of consciousness where he became one with the Almighty. And he said, you can all do this. You just got to believe. Believe in me. Believe what I'm telling you. And you will do greater things than the ones that I am doing right now. So like I said, there are some people like our priests, our popes, our deacons, our ministers that they act like they are almighty and gracious, yet a lot of them walk with the devil. You know, the ones that I am doing right now. So like I said, there are some people like our priests, our popes, our deacons, our ministers that they act like they are almighty and gracious, yet a lot of them walk with the devil. Yet you see a lot of people in these streets that they walk like they're devils, like they're with the devil. But in all reality, they're walking with the most high God within them. And they wish only good upon all those that come into contact with them. So in all things, family, no matter what you do in life, seek good. Always desire good for all those that come in contact with you. Judge not lest ye be judged also. So do your best not to judge. And when you catch yourself judging, cut yourself off. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that person that you're judging might be just yourself and just another version of yourself. Or it is yourself, just another version of you that you have not overcome yet. And that's why you're judging that person so, you know, harsh. Because you don't see yourself ever being in that point or reaching that level of degradation in your life. When in reality, yo, all those demons and all those angels are all within us. All right? Because there is no greater friend and no worse enemy than thyself. So know thyself, family, so you, that you don't become a victim and a prey to yourself. All right? Either than that, that's all. Nothing but love. All right? One love.